Uh, somebody was talking, asking a question about the ETX speakers in a past show. We talked about hooking them up, and uh, we'll get into that in just a second. But guys, the, the part of that is hooking it up to your board. And Ben had talked about hooking your subs up to a different output than your you, the main output. Have you ever done that in a mobile show situation, or have you always just basically out from the main to the subs to the tops? Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I, I let me phrase that because. For me, I like to be able to just run as, as few wires as possible. So for me, it, it, I can go right to the one. In fact, I have power that connects to the one, you know, the, that, um, the, what they call pigtails, mm -hmm. right? So that the one plugs in, the other one plugs into it. Um, so I do that. I have run remote speakers off of the booth output and that kind of thing, which is different. Mm -hmm. Everything uh, else is always goes one, one to the other. Well, how, is that the way you do it, Cubby? Yeah. Ease, easy peasy, and pretty much I think that is. And and there's two two rules of thought when it comes to hooking to the booth out specifically. Is that um, there's many controllers. Specifically, the one that I use the most and Dan is familiar with is the uh, the seven thousand, the Dan seven thousand. That particular one, if you run the booth out to your subwoofers, as an example, one of the big advantages of that is that you can not have the microphone in the subwoofer feed, and the seven thousand does that natural or it, it's the default is no microphone in that sub feed if i'm not mistaken so what you're you're able to do with that is is all, everything that's that would have gone through the subs from the microphone which is generally kind of a feedbacky weird little anomaly none of it's there because there's no microphone going to the subwoofers that's really the only time a person wants to have that unless you have an unusual situation where your tops and your subs are are not matched up whatsoever. And what I mean by that is that if you start the night out at one volume and your 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 tops and your you're getting that volume the same and are hitting everyone the same, then as the night goes on, if for some reason your top doesn't have the same gain ability and the the subs all of a sudden are hitting people harder than your tops are, then it's one of those things that you either are turning on your your three band EQ, you're turning or you're going to your subs and turning them down, or if you've got the booth, you know, the subs on the booth, you can bring that down or an auxiliary send. So it's a microphone thing or it's to give you the ability to bring that sub down, that sub sound down a little bit without having to walk out there and turn the back of the subs down. I have at times had to go out at a show and turn my subs down a, knock, a notch or two. Be not because they were so much overriding the tops. It's just that we, it, kind of bouncing back to that limit. Uh, the thing is the limit light was coming on a little bit too hard. And if I went and took the subs and took the, the gains down two notches, I was able to push my sound a little bit more. The limit light was still flickering. But then I was the tops. I had bigger tops at the time. And the tops were able to give me more sound pressure. Uh, otherwise, it was getting to the point where I wasn't uh, able to push as much, hard as I wanted to. So um, I would uh, use it in that situation, and that's pretty much only. And I mean, in all my time of doing it, I think I've done it three or four times is it. Most of the time, it's you know, right to that side, left to that side. And truthfully, I run mono, mono on my board anyway because I don't like the stereo. Uh, I don't like hearing ACDC with the music over here and the voices over here. Don't like it, so we don't do it. So, and then off we go. Okay. I, I Price on ETX, you got to con contact them back at the office, nlfxpro.com. They're, the, they're, they're going to be able to get you uh, the best pricing on ETX speakers. Uh, we have on our shows, we just talk about them. We don't actually sell them because that's not our jobs. That's Ben's. Okay. Next question.